guys and girls, today you join me at XL London and I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should come to the London Motor Show. Reason number one, this year it is bigger and better. Oh, hello, don't know what that was. So for the last few years it's been taking place at Battersea Ev It's been taking place at Battersea Evolution. This year though it's at XL London, so more space means more cars. Have you ever looked at a Ford Focus RS Mark II and thought, it's a bit slow, I wish it had more power? But chances are you probably haven't, but this guy obviously thought, yes, I need more power. So that engine there, that is pushing out 670 brake horsepower. Yes, you heard me right, that's 670 brake horsepower in a Ford Focus. That is mental. Reason number two, because there's more cars here, you've got more variety, and some of, some of the cars here are fantastic. Just look at this McLaren. Oh my God, look how cool this is. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, I don't, want, don't know what to say, this is so cool. A racing MX-5. I think I've just died and gone to heaven. No, I'm still alive. But look how cool this is. Yeah, I know some people may not appreciate this, but oh, I certainly do. Now, I would love to have a go in one of those. I wouldn't be that fast, but still, be a lot of fun. Reason number three, what I love about the London Motor Show, that of course, because it's in London, it celebrates British cars. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Britain don't make any cars anymore. Well, that simply isn't the case. Over there, you've got Aston Martin, you've got the brand new Vantage, you've got the Noble here, you've got Eagle over here, you've got two very nice models. There we are. Black's really nice. Oh, with red interior. Oh, that's really nice. You've got Lotus, you've got Morgan, etc., etc. There's more over there. You've got Caterham and so forth. So, yes, what I love about the London Motor Show is that it celebrates British engineering. And I'm all for that. Reason number four, you get to see all the latest cars that have been released. As you can see, we've got the new Aston Martin Vantage here and it looks epic. A few people have said that the front end looks like a Mazda MX-5. Personally, I can't really see it, but I think it's a fantastic car either way. This particular model is finished in hyper red, which I think looks superb. Got the lovely alloys to go with it as well. Oh, look at those two-tone, really nice. Not too sure about the yellow brake calipers though, but Never mind, each to their own. Let me come around to the back. Let's see whether this car's got the uh, normal exhaust or the sports exhaust. Let's have a quick look. Get a side profile shot. Yeah, that is sex on wheels. Simply sex on wheels. Right, let's come around to the back. Moment of truth. Oh, no, it's got the standard exhaust. It'll still make a great noise, but I think it looks better with the sports exhaust because you get two tips either side, whereas the standard exhaust, it kind of looks a little bit lost in there. It looks a little bit stranded. But either way, it's still a beautiful, beautiful car. 
So here's a car that I've seen in the flesh, well, in the metal for the first time, the new TBR Griffith. Now, I will be honest, when I saw it in pictures, I wasn't a big fan of the styling. Now, a few people have said it does look better in real life, and I agree with them. In real life, the, the, the design, the angles, they do look better. Whereas in the photos, I, I just thought that, I, I'm not too sure, it, I thought it didn't quite look in proportion. I thought it looked, dare I say it, a little bit ugly. But in real life, yeah, it definitely looks for business. I really like the side exhaust, that's really cool. Got the Griffith badge, the black alloys to contrast with the red. That's really nice, I do really like it. Let's have a look at the back. You have to excuse me, as you can see, it's rather busy. Yeah, at the back, it definitely looks better in real life. Um, I really don't think the, the press photos did this car any justice because in the metal, yeah, it looks good. Brian Little. <laughs> I think this is what happens when Daft Punk stop making music and start making cars. So quite unusual. Uh, yeah, a little bit scary. Oh. And reason number five, put simply, it is a wonderful day out. Whether you want to come by yourself, bring your missus, well, drag your missus along, or bring the whole family, it is a fantastic day out. But tickets are selling out quickly. So if you want to grab your tickets, I will put the link for the, um, for the website where you can purchase your tickets in the video description below. So it is the end of the day, in fact I've got just two minutes before they kick us all out, uh, but it has been a very good day. Now if you can, if you're in the area, if you're able to get tickets, I urge you to come down this weekend because it really is a good show. Yes, it's still not quite as big as Geneva or Paris, but it is growing and it is a fantastic event. So at this point it's time for me to sign off. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more car obsession.